welcome to Via Catholica Channel, your Catholic way to God. Every time the name Saint Ezekiel Moreno is mentioned, that name is always associated with cancer. It would not be a surprise since Saint Ezekiel Moreno himself suffered from that painful disease for some time and succumbed to it. He is also known to be the patron saint of cancer patients and their families. But there are other surprising information that most devotees do not know, like he was ordained here in the Philippines as deacon in Haro, Iloilo City, and as priest in Manila. He is considered as one of the founding fathers of Puerto Princesa City, Palawan. He speaks Tagalog fluently and got sick with malaria when he was assigned in Palawan. Another important but less known aspect of St. Ezekiel Moreno's life is his deep devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. This would come as a surprise to many since he never fully manifested this devotion during his younger years as priest and missionary while he was here in the Philippines. This doesn't mean, however, that he does not have this devotion within him. His devotion to the Sacred Heart goes deep and could be traced back during his novitiate years. It was implanted to him upon the inspiration of Fray Juan Gascon, OAR, his spiritual director, who is himself a great disciple of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. For one reason or another, this devotion manifested clearly when Saint Ezekiel Moreno was in Colombia, most especially as Bishop in Pasto. The first manifestation of his devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus is exhibited in his Episcopal coat of arms. In the center of his coat of arms is the symbol of the sacred heart with a statement surrounding it, You are my strength and my refuge. This is a clear proof that his whole being, not just his episcopacy, is centered on the sacred heart of Jesus. This means that the sacred heart is what moves forms his thoughts, words, and actions, his beginning, his guide, and his end. The second manifestation of his devotion to the Sacred Heart is the devotion he promoted as Bishop of Pasto, the Dolores Internos del Sagrado Corazón de Jesús, or the interior sorrows of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, whose main aim is to do reparation to the heart of Jesus, sorrowful, and wounded due to sin is a devotion practiced and promoted by Saint Ezekiel Moreno himself. We ask the question then, why did the Sacred Heart devotion manifested only in the later part of Saint Ezekiel Moreno's life and how important was it for him? As a bishop, the burdens and responsibilities he carried was far more heavier than what he carried as a young missionary priest in the Philippines. Indeed, the Sacred Heart was his source of strength, comfort, and joy in his most difficult times as pastor and as a patient suffering from the pain brought about by cancer. The Sacred Heart of Jesus assured Saint Ezekiel Moreno that he was loved. This realization of the constant love of Jesus gave Saint Ezekiel Moreno the strength to carry his cross until the end and assure refuge when he will rest in peace. We all have problems. We all have our crosses to carry. Each of us suffer differently. But the constant reminder that we are loved by Jesus makes our struggles in life bearable. Bearable because we know the person who loves us the most journeys with us every step of the way. This is why the devotion to the Sacred Heart is important to Saint Ezekiel. I hope this will inspire us to enter into that devotion too. Come August 19, 
we will celebrate the feast of Saint Ezekiel Moreno. Come and celebrate with us by joining the Healing Mass in the different Recollect communities throughout the Philippines. May the Sacred Heart of Jesus be merciful and compassionate to us through the intercession of Saint Ezekiel Moreno. God bless everyone and keep safe always.